Hey yo, what's up guys? How you doing bros? What's up dogs? What's a poppin yo? Yeah, that's right. I just dropped some early 2000s sauce on you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now you're probably wondering what the hell's wrong with you. And I'll tell you what's wrong. I found this. It screams 2001. I don't even know what year it came out in, but this is, this is definitely early 2000s, late 1990s something. Whoosh. The Hat Man. So yeah, today we're gonna be looking at this, uh, very dated object. So I found this thing on eBay, right, and I was perusing around for vintage MP3 players. So I was just looking around, and I found this, and then I found its predecessor as well, the MP90. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get this for a video, but I was unemployed and poor at the time, so I put it off, and I put it off, and eventually one of them got unlisted, the other one, one day, boom, the MP90 got purchased, and I was freaking out. I was like, no, no, oh my god, that was for me! Well. Then I was like, okay, there's still a chance. Let's go to the unlisted one and ask for it to get put back on, on eBay. And the person obliged. And then I proceeded to still not have money for many months until eventually I was like, all right, let's buy it and do what I said to this person, which is I'll buy it and uh, fulfill that promise. And so finally I, I got this, but I missed out on the original one that I found, the MP90. So MP90 is gone. I'm not sure if it was the same company. I don't remember. But it had the same merit fucked for its branding. So I wish I had that here to complete the set, but I don't. Anyway, I looked up this company, the MBO company, and what I found was, and I'll try to put a screenshot on the screen, it's basically a defunct company with barely anything known about it. And I think it's a, it might even be a German company, considering that the first language listed on this box is German. So yeah, I don't know anything about this company. They got nothing on the internet. And uh, yeah, you haven't heard about this and neither have I. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, let's move on to the next part, the unboxing stuff. All right, let's look at this box. Ah! I punched the mic. I was trying to grab my light. Okay, so we got this very 2000s looking lady with a, a whack ass haircut with lots of bobby pins and stuff, as you can see from the shine, pinning up her hair. So she might actually have long hair, but she's pinned it up to look like a cabbage for some reason. And then she's in a, a V-neck tank top. And it's not even like, like an undershirt. Oh man, this is a very thick material, as you can see here. That's like half an inch of thickness. This is a very strange cotton shirt. And then she's got a little metal band and one little piercing under her lip and she shaved off her eyebrows and drew them back on yeah a very dated style for sure and uh i don't think she's actually holding this device well you can tell a lot of effort went into this uh, uh slash s let's see there's one two three four five six of the same device displayed on the front of this box make of that what you will on the side, we have the dimensions printed out in millimeters for some reason. Uh, more different languages with English as an afterthought. The top, basically the same thing. The other side, basically the same thing. The bottom has the price. And look at that. This was $129 at some point. Let's look at the back. More German. Let's go to the English part. Technical data. That's very strange. It says MP3 player for playing MP3. Vibration insensitive. Oh, there's no moving parts. This definitely was a translation. Replaceable memory card. Includes a 32 megabyte. 32 megabyte memory card. Oh, wow. <laughs> 32 megabytes. That's ridiculous. Okay, I don't know that this was the early 2000s. This might have been 1998 when the when the first of the MP3 players are coming out. We're going to find out on the instruction booklet very soon. 10-digit LCD display illuminated for various operating states. Built-in digital tuner for FM. Okay, that's good. Station search. You didn't have to include that. Three storage places per wave range. Okay, that's extremely limited. I guess that's a, a plus when you have these devices brand new in the market. Includes the sync cable software for Windows 95, 98, and NT4. Includes the audio player software. Oh my god, we're gonna have to check out software. I, I don't know what computer I should put that on. I don't know if I want to put it on my main one or not. A parallel interface to download music from PC. What the hell does that mean? It uses two AAA batteries, which probably are not included, and they have earphones and a carrying strap. Okay, 
Well, I guess it, well, let's dive into this little guy. We're gonna take out our handy dandy lever action, lever hunter knife from Edge Co. And we're gonna cut this little bit of tape the owner put on. I almost stabbed myself. At long last, I get to open this thing. All right, I'm gonna bend this down a little bit. Move my, move my G Fuel out of the way. Because yes, I'm still drinking G Fuel. Please G Fuel, sponsor me. I know I'm small, but I'm getting there. Last time I asked you to sponsor me, I had like 300 subscribers. Now I have 1,180. So G Fuel, come on now. You know what to do. There's a lot of styrofoam. Well, that's empty now. Holy Jesus. Uh, huh. I can't put music on this. When it said cereal, it really meant cereal. This is cereal, ladies and gentlemen. This is a standard cable from back in the 80s and 90s used for peripherals such as printers, if I, if I remember correctly. But it was a standard cable used at the time. So this plugs into a PS2 port. This is what you would plug your uh, keyboard into. Hold on, let's look at this cable. Let's look at the cable. Let's look at the cable. How does it... Do you need both? Oh wow, I think you need both of these ports plugged in for data transfer. And so it's got a, a breakout so you can plug in your mouse or keyboard while you have it plugged in. What the hell? So this really, really truly is for a Windows 95, 98, Windows NT4 PC. Holy crap. Guys, this is just, this is about as old as technology as that one Game Boy Advance device that if you haven't watched, I'll put a little link on the screen or, you know, the little card, the peripheral that had a floppy disk included for the software, which actually was required. This is redonkulous. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, earbuds. Uh, that. Here's the strap, the little lanyard thing. Here is the uh, owner's previously opened and unused uh, little carrying case that simply says MP3 player on it. Now, of course, here's the device itself, which I guess was previously touched, or it's just reverting back to goo because it's a little sticky. There's the power button that has a, a now standard uh, brightness illumination icon, but I guess it wasn't standard then. Or maybe they're just goofy. Ugh, gross. This is weird to handle. This is very small, yet large, because it's so thick. Are these buttons? Oh my god, this little gold stuff is buttons. I guess that makes sense because it has a print, it has print out uh, uh, labels on it, but still, I, it, it just looks weird. They are terrible to press. They are so mushy. Wow. So this is the Merit MP3 player, MP100. Okay. Man, my fingers are sticky. Where's the little card? There it is. Oh my god, it's an actual SD card. Kind of. Uh, what the hell is this? Is this an SD card? This doesn't really look like one. It, is that, hold on, let me go grab one. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Yeah, 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 it's different, it's different. Okay, here is the multimedia card. Here is an SD card. Spot the difference. This will not work in a standard SD card reader, I don't think. It looks like some of the pins actually might line up for a SD card reader, but it's missing two pins on both right and the left side. So, huh, okay. So far I'm baffled. Let's look at the manuals. These actually might be interesting. So this one is German, this one is English. Unless they're both, wait, no, they both have English and German. What, uh, uh huh? Okay, yeah, they're both English and German. So this is the installation of the software and, and, and the stuff, the, the parallel port and whatever. And this one, I guess, is operations. Okay. Let's look around for a date of copyright. Closing date, 999. So September 1999. So this is a 1999 device. Okay, that settles it. It's uh from the late 90s, not the early 2000s. Man, this thing is weird. I'll actually have to read this later, I think. Whoa, look at this. L look at this little dingus disc. Maycom, MMC Reader, Music Match Jukebox with CD to MP3, MP3 Digital Audio Player, Copyright 1999, yep, 1999, wow, this is weird, I don't think I can use this, I could probably turn it on, but I don't think I can use it, I am heavily disappointed by that, but I'm also extremely intrigued. You know what I probably could do? Oh, you know what? That doesn't even make sense. I was gonna say I could I could use a, a a virtual machine, but I don't have any of those old ports. That's not gonna be useful at all. So the stickiness of this is preventing me from putting it in the case. Ah, I want to see it in the case. Oh my god! It's, never mind. Never mind. It's it's. Look at my fingers. It's disintegrating. All right, we're putting that back in the box and in the bag. Gross. 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 
Man, and I thought this card was small. This is 256 megabytes. This is one of my first ever micro SD cards. I used this for the Wii so I could store my photos and stuff. I still have it. <laughs> I got that from Walgreens with my grandma. I'm almost certain. Do I even have AAA batteries? I don't know. I found these. Well, that's not useful. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go try to find some. Holy crap, baskets, guys. I found two. Okay, let's energize this little guy. Oh, it's alive! What the hell is it saying? Is that German? So, I can adjust the volume. This looks like one of my first radios. So, it definitely is old. Here's the FM tuner. I'm gonna put it on 97.1 because that's a radio station that I know. Oh, you can't hold it? Oh... Alright, it's going through every decimal point. Oh my god! Okay, we're in the 90s. Okay, 92.5, I think, is a station that exists. So we're gonna go to 92.5. I think that might be a country station, or it might be the classic rock station. I can't remember. Let's use the earbuds, these crappy little dingus buds. And let's see if I can hear the uh, mutes. I don't want mutes. How do I unmute? Oh my god! You won't believe the audio quality. So. Guys, and by the way, this is the classic rock station. I was I was wrong. It's not country. Um, if you have never downloaded music from the internet during the 2000s off of something like LimeWire or Napster, trying to get free music and or converted your music to your little um, MP3 player to cram as many songs as you can onto one gigabyte or less, then you're you're not gonna believe the audio quality here. It is so bad. It's kind of muddy. It's got a little bit of like graininess to it. I don't know. It, it's hard to describe, how, but it's bad. It might also just be the the headphones, but man, it sounds bad. You know what? I think I'll chalk it up to the headphones. 50% headphones, 50% quality of, of the the signal. We'll have to see. Uh, in the future, if this is something that I can uh, put music on, I'm gonna listen to it again. I'm gonna put both earbuds in. One is definitely stronger than the other. I wonder if you can hear this. Let me know if you heard that. I, you know what? I guess in the editing bay, I'll know. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Well, guys, I think that's about it, really. That's everything it has. So that's the MP3 player from 1999 that I have. He merits <laughs> 100. Take these little batteries. Ah, my active energy, super alkaline. Sorry guys, I don't have puck so. And yes, I just dropped one into the floor. Are these even labeled for right and left? Yeah, they are, okay. Hey, look at that. They have the merit logo printed on there. That's mighty cute. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, take this apart. Oh, okay, uh, section switch. You should now see a title that says teardown. I can't get this open. Hold on, I got a solution for that. My little pick from I fix it. Crap. Crap. Wait. Wait. Oh crap. Is there? A oh, there's a fifth one. There's a fifth screw. That explains everything. Okay. What the hell? I thought there was only five. Well, it gives. I guess what doesn't give? Nope. Oh crap. My pick is now inside. Huh. Unfortunate. E ah! Why won't you open? Open sesame! Uh... Is, there, is there a secret screw somewhere? Like, what the hell is going on? Bro, I can't get it open. Alright, teardown canceled. Uh... I can't figure out how to get it open, and I might break it if I try harder. I guess, I guess I'll just put this back together. I'll, uh, go ahead and bring back the title card, and I'm gonna blow it to pieces. Boom. Okay, well guys, that's everything. Put everything back in this uh, package here. This thing is truly a 1999 treasure from a company who just basically has never existed. There's only one trace of their existence on the internet, so I don't know uh, what else to do to <laughs> figure out anything about them. As far as we know, this is some zombie corporation that was it existed in name only that someone shoveled out products through, and then <laughs> when they were done shoveling out products with them, they just can canceled the copyright and, and gave up on it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure if you will and let me know in the comments if you want me to follow up with this or any if you have any other like retro mp3 players from back in the way back in the day that you want me to look at drop a comment if you want me to do anything interesting or anything cool at all drop a comment and stuff go ahead and um, do that right now okay welcome back I guess I will bid you adieu okay let's put this back in the box I will see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.